After the conquest of Iran, and other new countries by Islam, rulers were appointed by the caliph, to run the affairs of these areas. Madayan is one of the cities whose rulers were appointed by the caliph, but they did not succeed in satisfying the people. Therefore, the second caliph, after consulting with Imam Ali, was forced to hand over the government to Selman. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Peace and blessings of God be upon his pure and chosen servant, the last prophet, Muhammad Mustafa. As God promised, he opened the doors of the vast country of Iran to the Muslims and gave the Iranians the ability to listen to the call of Islam, and this was a matter of great pride and honor for them. At that time, according to the decision of the Muslim Caliph and on the basis of this order, you are appointed for the government of Madayan, O Selman. Because you also speak Persian like the people of this region, the people of Persia will be more united with you. May Allah make you and all Muslims successful and victorious in his way. O people of Madayan, listen to me. This command is from the second caliph of the Muslims, residents of Madayan. Dear father. Yes? Salman became the ruler of Madayan. Are you telling the truth? I just heard it from the messenger. Thank God. What a wonderful choice. You said Salman? The name sounds familiar. This is the same Salman who swam across the Tigris to talk to us about Islam and the Messenger of Allah. Yes, I remember him now. Tell me, what do you think? When will Salman come to Madayan? I'm sure that he will come in the next few days. So, now we don't have much time, we have to prepare the city for him and his friends. Rusby. Yes? Come with us and see how the ruler should be welcomed. Open your eyes, and save in your heart and mind what you see now. Hello, my brother. Where are you coming from? From the south. Didn't you meet any caravan, army or soldiers on the way? No, what kind of caravan? The new ruler of Madaya. Selman. Selman. I don't think Selman would like this kind of ritual. Do you know him? Yes. I am Selman myself. Huh? What? Are you? Your Excellency. Are you the new ruler of Madayan? Yes. What are you guys looking at? Bow down and respect him. Kneel down. Please stand up. Why are you bowing before a servant like me? There is no place for such things in Islam. With the blessings of Islam, you have been freed from the domination of selfish and tyrannical rulers. So submit to your Lord. I am a lowly servant of God. Before that I was a misguided person who was a needy slave. Until God guided me through the Prophet of Islam and freed me from slavery and declared me a free man, so listen, people. Salman does not need such rituals, I have learned from the Prophet of Islam to live a simple life. And these things do not increase anyone's value. It only makes selfish rulers think of themselves as God, but you will have to bear the consequences. Therefore, O oh people, know that the Prophet of Islam has been humble, simple and honest throughout his life. So whoever follows him should be like that.